Here we go again, Monday morning. Yeah, not bad time, I don't suppose. Yeah, and my wife been and took the grass cutter to my head. Give me a good uh, haircut. i will keep the hair out of my eyes for a week or two, anyhow. Well done. She's done a good job. Fracking. I mean, a bit, bit mizzle out there today, but this is better rain, really, isn't it? Good for the plants. He isn't running off anywhere. It's just going in quietly. Anyhow, everybody's all right. <clears throat> now, it's a special, well, you isn't a special, but it is a birthday today for my sister-in-law, that's Jim's wife, Christine. Happy birthday, Christine, and I hope you have a lovely day. Now, tomorrow I got, uh, there's two birthdays. I'll do tomorrow's because I shouldn't be thinking this. It's, it's Grace Darby is one. Yes. And the other one is Kathy Gray. So uh, both of you have a nice day tomorrow. Now, I'm just, I, I'm asking the people that, well, it's the Gorseth is coming here on the, well, it's coming from the 1st, but the 2nd and the 3rd and the 4th of September. And on the 3rd of the Academy School up there in Islands, um, where with, with the ceremony will be taking place. Um, we could do with a bit more help. We got help from all local uh, things, but on, local uh, organisations. But on the day, we could do with help um, with, with it, helping with the teas. You know, at tea time when they sit down to a bardic tea, which would be a pasty, saffron cake, a splits, a jam and cream, etc., and all. And, and uh, it's, you know, it's quite a few there too. So we could do. We got some volunteers, but we could just do it a bit more out with anybody. You can contact me on um, 01736. Seven five six seven nine three. That's my own number. You can always leave me a message if you would like. But we'd be delighted to. It's a community thing. This is all for hail. Let's let's make hail shine while we got chance for three or four days. And say come up and enjoy the ceremony, and then pitch in and help us if you can. All right. Now I'm going to do this one day by Babs Owen. This is Auntie and the Cow. Hello, hello, that you trees are my lord. Tis some cold day, oh, isn't it? Is that this there old line crackling, or is it your teeth a chattering? If I had a fur coat, I'd be wearing of em in bed. I've been sat by the slab all day with the oven door wide open, and I was bustin' whether to put my feet inside of the oven on the shelf. I was going concert bit night with she next door, but I don't reckon I can pit myself out yo. Mine, one time I used to go all the concerts at the institute. I'd a mind me Auntie Phyllis, Mary, was staying with us, with we, and, and me, Mammy, came up with this bright idea that I should take me Auntie over to the concert. Laugh, me Auntie been working in this here draper shop in Bristol, and she was some made up with herself, yes, and she had a fur coat and all. Well, time she was all dulled up, t'was nearly time for the concert start. And I was getting some tasy for all the best seats in the back with the maids and them their young sparks would be filled up. Anyhow, I bested to take the shortcut across the Maui and through the fields. There she was, done up in her fur coat and these high buttony boots. First field weren't so bad, but the next was full of old cows. If Auntie was skeered, she didn't let on. I gave her credit for that, yo. Well, this year fur coat was near enough the same colour as they cows, and one of them took a shine to me auntie. Start off, the old cow just followed on. Then she come a bit closer. Then the faster me auntie walked, the faster this old cow did go. Tell come finish up, me auntie was running for dear life. And the gate, and the cow was passing and running alongside. In the end, me auntie got to the gate just ahead of the cow, and she jumped up over it like a new one. Her smart hat fell off, yo, and her hair fell down. Twas sad to see a time after all the effort she had made looking so ladylike and pretty. Yes, we got concert on time, though my auntie's hat was back and forth, and she weren't any too pleased. Twas coming on was the worst of it, for auntie wouldn't go near the cows again. And in the dark, no, not for love nor money. Old Walter had to drive we home in the donkey trap, and he couldn't and he c c couldn't call that no joy ride. Me, ma had to rub me auntie all over with this here horse liniment. She was that shook bout, and there hadn't no prize for guessing who got the blame for it all. As always, I was some glad when she went back to Bristol. I can tell ye, and I do always mind. 
Auntie Phyllis Mary and the cows when I see anyone all togged up and in a fur jacket. Well, I best get on. I haven't made the bed yet. Day, tis too cold to go up over, but I best put a brave face on and go and do it for he to come in. Say again, take care. Have a nice day.